Hi, this is Kari, the mayor of Bookopolis, and this is a quick tutorial on how to log your reading using Bookopolis and our digital reading logs. When you come into Bookopolis and you log in, you'll first come to My World page, and you can see the books that you're reading now. To add more books to your reading now and then log your reading, you can either come straight up here to the search bar or view in My Shelf and you can use the search bar or add another book. So we'll add another book here. And I am reading Book Scavenger, a great mystery book. And so that came up right away. If it didn't, I might check my spelling or if it's a book that's actually an adult book that I'm reading, I'll tell my teacher and they have a special way that they can find the book for you within Bookopolis. But here, this one's here. I'm gonna add it to my bookshelf. I'm going to add it to reading it now shelf uh, if I want to be able to log it. So I can see it already here on my reading it now and I'm going to log my first entry. So as yesterday I read this book for 25 minutes and 35 pages. Here is a comment section. I can add something about the book. My teacher might have asked me to say something about a theme or a character. Only my teacher can see this part of uh, what I comment, which is different than book reviews, which can be seen by my classmates right away. So hit save. And once this page refreshes, I'll be able to see progress I've made on this book. I'm going to add another entry from last weekend. I read for a long time. I read for 75 minutes and 125 pages. And you can see that jumps my progress even more. So here's where I can see the entries related to this book, or I click view reading log if I wanna see all my reading log entries. And I can use this little calculator here to actually see how many minutes or hours I've read over different time periods. Now, if I am reading maybe a magazine or a newspaper that I need to log for my school reading, or I really cannot find my book in Bookopolis, Go to add non-book entry, and here's where you could maybe write in the name of a magazine or a newspaper or something else that you have been reading. And again, then you fill out your log in a similar way and say how long you read. So these are a few of the things that you can do to log your reading in Bookopolis. And once you have completed a book, then select Mark Complete, and that book will jump to your I read it shelf. And then this one will show up at the bottom of my I read it shelf. So you can see I read Book Scavenger, what date I completed it on. And then if I want to write a review or recommend it to a friend, I'll do that here, but that's in another tutorial. If you have feedback or questions, use this orange button. It's a great way to get in touch with us easily. And with that, happy reading and happy logging. Thanks, bye.